fresh out of the P.O. box. Fragrance Dubois reached out to the kid and wanted to send me a couple of fragrances for me to try it on camera. They've sent me fragrances in the past before and, and I quite enjoy their house. I don't know what these fragrances are gonna smell like. I didn't know what fragrances they were gonna sell, but the sent over two fragrances and the first one we're gonna check out today, I guess it's called Secret Trist or Secret Trist. I have no fucking idea. I didn't look up anything. So let's give it a shot together. Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out Secret Trist or Trist. I'm kind of a big Bless you morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This is your boy. See to you to the beat today. Now, personally, Fragrance Dubois is a pricey house. It's super bougie, very niche and they do make great fragrances. I'm actually a fan of the house. That's probably why they send me shit. Uh, just because they send me shit doesn't mean you automatically get a pass. At the end of the day, I don't give a flying fuck what anybody thinks. Uh, what are they going to do? Send fragrance police to come pick it up if I don't like it? Like, who cares? I, I really don't give a shit. They know what time it is, so it is what it is at the end of the day. But on a lighter note, I've never come across a fragrance of theirs that I found disgusting, trash, or whack. So it's just my personal opinion. So secret tryst. Here's what the presentation looks like. It comes in some sort of sleeve. And their fragrance Dubois Presentation. I don't know the notes. We will look them up together. But they always have some very fancy ass presentation. Beautiful velvet boxes. You guys have seen them a hundred times. Uh, I remember these fragrances when they came out. I know some content creators got this. It's over to them a while ago. I wasn't one of them. Clearly, I just got it sent now. But I don't give a shit. I haven't heard anything about the fragrance other than seeing what the bottle looks like. Here's what Secret Trist looks like in your standard gorgeous bougie ass fragrance Dubois presentation and it comes in its red Dracula coffin as usual. All right, so before snorting it, I wanted to look up the notes which I just did. So the top is listed as cardamom, saffron, bergamot, followed by vetiver, jasmine, rose, and cedar, olabdenum, patchouli, labdenum, and vanilla. I mean, the notes sound like it's gonna be fucking good. Sounds like a cardamom based fragrance with a little bit of a dry woodiness. Uh, but, you know, it doesn't sound bad at all. But let's find out. I'm gonna do the infamous test strip portion first, and then maybe we'll try it on skin. Excited to try this joint out. Let's see what's what with secret tryst or trist. Yeah, I mean, there's no way by that no breakdown that this was gonna be bad. It's very cardamom centric. It smells a uh, kind of familiar. It's a spicy vanillic. It actually smells and the old labdanum kind of gives it, I don't know, some sort of like an ambery kind of vibe. Cardamom kind of smells a little bit like Annie ish. Like Nishane's Annie with a lot more spice. There's a really nice peppery kind of spice in here. Followed by this dry woodiness. This is very fucking nice. Very nice, very mass appeal. This is in the space of like a uh, London oob. Mass appeal, easy to wear, very sexy. Definitely a vibe, I gotta try this on skin. <clears throat> nice fucking spray, that was a good continuous spray. Yeah, it has a little bit of an Annie-ish kind of vibe with like a spicy dry woodiness. It's got a strong spice. I, I get like peppery nuances here, but it doesn't list it on the notes, but I get some vanillic, peppery, vetiver, cardamom. <coughs> this COVID has been fucking me up. I got constant coughs, like this is bullshit. Ooh, now on the dry down, the vetiver is really coming up and it's becoming a little bit more dryish woods more than anything. The vanilla has definitely got this undertone there and the cardamom just sticks throughout but it's becoming a lot more drier and spicier on my skin as opposed to before it was more vanillic cardamom-ish. Doesn't smell like a performance beast or a crazy powerhouse off the skin and that one continuous spray, granted it was just one fucking spray, but I'm judging it all first impression. It doesn't feel like it just explodes off of my skin. It kind of just seems like it's kind of chilling right around here. There is some sort of reminder in my brain of Nishane Annie. I don't know if it's that spicy vanilla kind of vibe, something about it. It has a little bit of that Play-Doh-ish kind of note that I always describe. Yeah, this is definitely a fucking vibe. This is like an easy cop. 
easy cop. There's nothing here that's off-putting. There's nothing here that smells whack or kind of boring or anything along those lines. This is actually probably more catered to the masses as opposed to the niche snobs. This is kind of more of a, like I can go the blind by route and I'm not gonna be turned off by any fucking note in particular here. There's no wild civet or crazy dirty oud that's analic or it smells like you fisted a barnyard animal. Nothing along that space. Definitely sexy date night, more fall appropriate, maybe nighttime vibes. If I were to rate this on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna rate it a nice seven, nine. It's a very, very sexy fragrance. Again, it kind of reminds me a little bit of an Annie-ish type vibe. So for me, Annie's like fucking fantastic. So yeah, seven, nine, easy. Very nice fragrance. Thank you to Fragrance Dubois for sending this. And I hope the next fragrance that we check out that they sent over is just as good. So Secret Trist, if you haven't tried it out, I'll put a link to Fragrance Dubois' website, or you can go buy a sample, whatever the case may be, because this shit ain't cheap, so you gotta match your wallet, but at least you know that it isn't dog shit. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Yeah, it smells fucking good, actually. Yeah, I'm kind of fucking feeling this right now. Damn. Smooches. Cubano, 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 Cubano. What's fresh? Who's best? For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would.